in the quiet village of Lumina, three adventurous friends, Ella, a curious and bold explorer, Max, a scientific thinker who loves solving mysteries, and Luna, an artist with a vivid imagination, were drawn to the stories of a mysterious glowing cave nestled deep in the nearby mountains. Local villagers whispered of walls that shimmered like stars and a light show that dazzled anyone who entered. Intrigued, the trio decided to uncover the secrets of the sparkling cave. The journey to the cave started at sunrise. Ella packed her trusty flashlight, Max brought his notebook and magnifying glass, and Luna carried her sketch pad to capture the wonders they might find. As they hiked through the dense forest, they encountered challenges, a tricky maze of trees and a bubbling stream they had to cross on slippery rocks. Working together, they navigated their way, excitement building with every step. Finally, they reached the mouth of the cave, mouth a gaping entrance covered in ivy. From inside, a faint glow beckoned them forward. As they ventured deeper, the walls began to glitter with a magical light. Luna gasped, it's like the stars have fallen onto the walls. Ella shined her flashlight around, revealing crystals embedded in the rock, glowing faintly. Max crouched to inspect them. This must be fluorescence, he explained. Some minerals glow under certain kinds of light, like ultraviolet light. He turned to Ella. Let's test your flashlight. When Ella switched to the UV setting on her flashlight, the cave erupted into a vibrant display of colors. Greens, blues, and purples danced across the walls. Luna began sketching furiously. Deeper into the cave, they found a narrow passage blocked by a shimmering rock formation. Look at this, Max said, pointing at the faint glow. This is phosphorescence. These minerals store light and release it slowly, even in the dark. Ella noticed a small gap above the formation. If we can climb over, we might find the source of all this light. Using teamwork, Ella climbed up while Luna and Max guided her from below. On the other side, Ella found a hidden chamber where a cluster of glowing crystals lit the room like a magical chandelier. Max joined her and examined the crystals. These crystals must have grown over thousands of years, Max said. They interact with light in different ways, creating the fluorescence and phosphorescence we see. Luna pointed to a trickling stream running through the chamber. Maybe the minerals in the water helped create these crystals. Nature is amazing. On their way out, the trio made notes and sketches of their discovery. They decided to share their findings with the village to preserve the cave's beauty and teach others about the wonders of fluorescence and phosphorescence. Luna smiled as she looked at her sketches. This place shows how incredible nature is. It's like a piece of magic hidden in the earth. Max added, and it's all science. Understanding how these minerals work makes it even more fascinating. Ella nodded. Let's make sure everyone knows to protect this cave so it can stay magical forever.